All right, so we're going to be looking at perfect squares, okay? Um, let me turn the paper around this way, so let me just check you can still see it. Okay, so what's going to happen is you're going to be given an example like this. So it's going to say uh, A take B squared. So what I want you to do is because they squared, I want you to go A take B, A take B, okay? Because that's squared. Da, da. Both of those two times together will give you that squared, right? Then I want you to do your jumping over like we did in the last one. So we go A times A is A squared. Um, A times negative B is negative AB. Negative B times A is negative AB. And then negative B times negative B is positive B squared. All right? Then we go and we see what we can put together. So we've got an A squared and we can't do anything with that one. We've got a negative AB and a negative AB. So how many have we got? We've actually got two negative ABs and we've got one B squared. All right? So all you're going to do there is unpack that and then multiply them over. So let's do one with some numbers and let's do x plus 4 squared. So we equal that, okay, we want x plus 4 and x plus 4, okay, because it's the same squared. So we go x times x is x squared, x times 4 is 4x, 4 times x is 4x, 4 times 4 is 16, now we add it up, x squared, there's no other family for him. There's a 4x and a 4x, so we've got a, uh, an 8x, I know they said 16. 8x plus 16. All right, let's do, those are all, let's do a subtraction one. Just so you can see a slightly different one. Let's do 3m, take 2n squared. Okay. So we go 3m take 2n, 3m take 2n, and we go 3m times 3m gives you 9m squared, 3m times negative 2n gives you negative 6mn, negative 2n times 3m gives you negative 6mn, negative 2 times negative 2 gives you positive 4n squared. Let's add that up. So we've got uh, yes, yeah, squared. Ta negative 6, take another 6, gives you negative 12mn plus 4n squared. Beautiful. Right, guys? Give that a go. That's 5.4.